so welcome everyone, thank you for coming. Hopefully everyone has now checked in through Zoom, through Instagram. We'll find a comfortable seat. So make sure that you're sitting in front of your six bones. If you're not used to sitting on the ground, then feel free to fold a blanket and place it under your six bones, so under your pelvis, or use a pillow or a cushion under your pelvis in order to drag the six bones back and find a long, happy lower back. What you want is the pubic bone to move back, the chest to be proud, the shoulders to move back, the shoulder blades to come down, and then you find the point at the top back of the skull, that's called the bindu, and you reach the bindu point all the way up to the ceiling. So one more time, make sure that you're sitting in front of your sit bones, so you can use your hands to drag your pelvis back, find a long, healthy lower back, keep your ribs in and reach up through the chest, pull your shoulders back, your shoulder blades down, and reach the top back of the scalp up towards the sky. Relax the muscles of your face, relax your arms on your knees, and take a moment to be still. Take a moment to relax the body as much as possible. Therefore observe any point of stiffness in the body and use the breath to relax those parts of you. Keep reaching up through the back of the scalp, but allow yourself to ground down holding the integrity of your pose. We'll start with diaphragmatic breathing, which is a great exercise to ground down whenever you feel life is getting too much. You can visualize the movement of your diaphragm. So as you inhale, think of your diaphragm as a balloon right there behind the rib cage, And inhale, feel that balloon with air and allow it to drop down to the pelvis. Then exhale and feel the abdominal wall coming in, coming back so that the diaphragm reaches up towards the center of the chest. Inhale into the diaphragm, allow it all to drop down to the pelvis, to widen to the sides. And exhale, pull the abdominal wall back in to allow the diaphragm to come in and reach up towards the center of the chest, also known as the heart center. Again, inhale all the way down to the pelvis, feel the diaphragm expanding forwards, backwards, sideways. And exhale, pull the abdominal wall back in, direct the diaphragm back up towards the heart. Keep breathing in this way, relax the muscles of your face, relax the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. And keep the integrity of your seat, keep sitting up tall. So with every inhale, inhale all the way down, feel all 360 degrees of the diaphragm participating in this. And as you exhale, feel 360 degrees of the diaphragm narrowing in, as you pull the abdomen back and the diaphragm reaches up to the heart. So two more times, inhale all the way down to the pelvis, even to the hips. And exhale, gently pull abdominal wall back in, direct the diaphragm up to the heart center. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw and inhale all the way down. Feel the diaphragm dropping, expanding sideways, back and forth. And exhale, pull the abdominal wall back in, allow the diaphragm to rise up towards the heart. Keep that awareness of the diaphragmatic breathing and relax your arms by your sides. We'll start adding movements to the breath so exhale and send your sit bones down onto the ground, ground down. And then inhale into the belly as you reach the arms up. Extend yourself up, reach up. 
Exhale, pull the abdominal wall in and twist to the right. So keep your lower belly in and reach the chest up. Stay here as you inhale into the lower belly. Reach the chest up. And then exhale, send sits bones down. Pull lower belly in and open up the chest as you twist upwards. Inhale into the lower belly and bring your arms back to center. Reach your arms up, gaze up. And then exhale, twist to the left. So go to the other way. Inhale into the lower belly and expand your chest up. Twist through the upper back, through the, the neck. And exhale, pull lower belly in, reach the diaphragm up, twist a bit taller. Inhale into the lower belly, bring the arms back to center, reach up, gaze up. Lateral stretch, exhale, right arm down and extend the left arm overhead. So you can keep the hand as close to the body as you need to or go further away and bend the elbow. Pull the right shoulder blades down and reach the left arm straight. Relax the head. Inhale from the left sits bone all the way up to the left fingertips. Relax the head and exhale, pull the fingertips further away. One deep inhale into the whole left side of the body. And one more exhale, reach away through fingertips. Stay as you are, just bring the left arm up and to the left. Just 20 centimeters of the ground, relax the head, pull the shoulders back, pull the left trap muscle, this guy here, down the back, and keep reaching away through the fingertips. Inhale into the left neck, find more space. And exhale, reach away through the fingertips, relax one more layer of the neck. Inhale into the left trap, the left neck, the left side of the face, and then exhale, Pull away through the fingertips, relax your head, relax your face, relax your brain. Use your right hand to pick the head up and sit in stillness for a second. Reconnect with your diaphragm, deeply breathe into the diaphragm, send it down into the pelvis. Exhale, send your sit bones down, pull the belly in, reach the diaphragm up. Other side, inhale the arms up, reach up, gaze up. And exhale, hand to the left and lateral stretch to the left. Relax your head, pull the left um, shoulder blade down the back and straighten the right arm. Inhale, press the right sit bone down and feel like you're inhaling through the whole right side of the body, find more space. And then exhale, reach away through the fingertips, relax the head and find more space. Inhale into the right side of the body. And exhale, reach away. Beautiful, inhale the arm to the right. Just 20 centimeters of the ground and pluck the right trap muscle down and relax the head, relax the eyebrows. Inhale into the right trap, into the right neck. And exhale, press your sit bones, the pelvis down onto the ground as you reach the fingertips away from the neck. Inhale into the trap, into the neck, into the right side of the face. And exhale, reach the fingertips further away, relax the right side of the face, relax the brain, relax. Use your left hand, pick the head back up. And sit still. Throughout the class today, we'll keep connecting with our diaphragm, with our diaphragmatic breath. So inhale down into the lower belly, expand the front side of the belly, the sides of the belly, the back of the belly. And exhale, pull the abdominal wall in, find more height through the back of the skull. Inhale, reach the arms up, gaze up, 
reach up, really stretch the arms and exhale, pull the lower belly in and bring the arms forward. Bring the fingertips to the ground and maybe you walk the fingers forward, maybe you stay higher up. So it's fine to stay all the way up, keep thinking of the sit bones moving back and keep finding some space from the pubis, sending the pubic bone at the front of the pelvis back and reaching the um, belly button away from the pubic bone. So find some space there, anterior pelvic tilt, we're uncurling the tailbone back and up. We're sending the sits bones, the bony parts of the pelvis at the bottom of the pelvis, all the way back so that we find some more space in the lower back. So inhale some more space into the lower back and then exhale, maybe you walk the fingers forward or maybe you just reach the chest forward, find length. Again, it doesn't matter how it looks, stay with the feeling. Inhale more space into the lower back, send the pubis back, send the rib cage forward and exhale, pull the lower belly in and reach the diaphragm forward, reach the chest forward, reach the arms forward. Press into the hands and come to all fours. Maybe you can come straight forward into all fours or maybe you bring your arms to the side and one way or another you come to hands and knees in this tabletop position. We'll start bringing some awareness to our pelvis. Pelvis. Therefore we have the tailbone which is the bottom part of the spine and it curls in when we allow the tailbone to curl back and up, we find an anterior pelvic tilt. And then when we pull the lower belly in, we allow the tailbone to tuck in, we, found a, we find a posterior pelvic tilt. So inhale, anterior pelvic tilt, allow the pelvis to uncurl all the way to the sky, and then exhale, round back in. Relax your face, relax your jaw, and concentrate on the, on the movement of the pelvis. Inhale and uncurl the tailbone up, keep pressing the knees down, keep pressing the hands down, and exhale, curl the tailbone back in, posterior pelvic tilt. Okay, so find the diaphragm again. Inhale into the lower belly as you uncurl the tailbone up, but find some distance again from the pubis to the lower belly, reach the lower belly towards the chest and then exhale, pull the lower belly in as you curl the tailbone back in. One more time, inhale and curl the tailbone, keep pressing down into the hands, into the knees, articulate the movement and exhale, keep focusing on your pelvis. Beautiful. We'll add the rest of the spine, so inhale and curl the tailbone and start uh, arching the whole back. One vertebra at a time, try to articulate it until you bring the chin up and the shoulder blades towards the sacrum, towards the triangular part at the bottom of the spine and then exhale, tuck the tailbone back in, pull the lower belly in and towards the chest, flex your chest and round in. Again, inhale and uncurl. This is known as the cow position. And then exhale and curl back in. This is known as the angry cat position. So inhale into the lower belly, cow position, pull shoulder blades down the back, pick up the chin, find a long neck and exhale curl the tailbone back in, pull the lower belly in and towards the chest, round the back, cat position. Stay in the cat position, in the angry cat position, tuck the toes under and push into the hands, push into the feet, keep the lower belly in to so find that strength of the core, deep core and push just for a centimeter, and lift the knees off the ground, inhale, exhale, stay here, press into the arms, widen the shoulder blades, Inhale here, you can do it just for an inhale and then exhale, downward facing dog, reach the hips up and away. Start pedaling the knees, start stretching the legs. Then you can untuck one foot, stretch the toes, untuck the other foot, stretch the toes. 
and then maybe stretch the ankles, stretch the feet, be a bit intuitive with your downward facing dog, move the knees forward and back, move the pelvis sideways, find what movements the body can do in this weird position if you've never tried downward facing dog before and if you've tried it many times still explore your body see how it feels today reconnect with your breath so even through the movements breathe into the lower belly and exhale pull the abdominal wall in feel the diaphragm coming towards the center of the chest your heart center then find stillness in a downward facing dog it should look like an upward and an upside down V so you want to push into the arms and reach the heels back to really uncurl the tailbone up and reach the sit bones up to the sky push into the arms straighten the arms and widen the shoulder blades if this is too much you can bend the knees what matters is a long lower back we want to find that stretch in the lower back press into the arms widen the shoulder blades and then maybe start straightening the legs and see where you can go or take it easy and be kind to yourself today gaze forward bend the knees and then walk the feet to the hands as many steps as you need bend the knees again to find a long lower back and curl the tailbone back and up and bring your hands at the back of the head interlace the fingers bring the elbows in chin in and send your shoulder blades up towards the ceiling so find a long neck find a long lower back press your feet down inhale into the lower belly feel the belly pushing against the thighs and exhale pull the lower belly in pull the rib cage in and reach the rib cage the chest towards the feet if it's accessible to you straighten the legs and bring your weight forward you'll feel the front of the legs flexing you'll feel the kneecaps lifting up and the thighs the quadriceps contracting to hold you from falling you'll also feel the back of the legs stretching as the sit bones reach up and then again you want to keep the lower belly away from the pubic bone so you want to reach the front of the pelvis the pubic bone all the way towards the ceiling so that you really uncurl the tailbone up and keep your belly in as you reach the chest towards the feet beautiful bend the knees and slowly unround come up keep your chin close to the chest as you come up and when you're all the way up reach your arms up when we reach our arms up we want to elevate the scapula so your wings here they want to come up but then what's important is that the two shoulder blades the two wings at the back of your body separate so you want to broaden widen the shoulder blades and then elevate the scapula reach up you can relax the head and you can bring the palms together but again if it's too much bring the arms apart what's important is to really widen the shoulder blades move the shoulder blades away from one another and then reach the shoulder blades up reach the shoulders up towards the ears really widen the shoulder blades move the shoulders wide away from the ears and then reach the arms up, up shoulders up towards the ears so wide apart from the ears and up towards the ears hands together or apart inhale press your feet down pull the belly in reach up through the arms and then exhale your arms by your sides bring your hands to heart center palms together namaskara mudra or anjali mudra so prayer gesture so pull your shoulders back again pull your shoulder blades down connect with your feet just bring your awareness your observance to the feet press big toe mounts of the feet so the parts of the feet that are right under the big toes the ball of the foot right under the big toes press it down and then find the pinky toe mounts of the feet the ball of the foot that's right under the pinky toe and press it down 
So big toe mount of the feet, press down, pinky toe mount of the feet, press down, and then find your heel bones, find the center of your heels, press it down onto the ground. The more you press the feet down, the more you feel the legs engaging. You want that throughout the class. You want to be working with active legs. So press big toe mounts, pinky toe mounts, and heels onto the ground. If you lift the toes up and you spread the toes apart, it will help you to actually really press down into the feet. So lift toes up, separate the toes, allow light to pass through the gaps of the toes, and then press the feet down and slowly allow the fingers of the toes, the fingers of the feet, the toes to press down onto the ground. All the weight on big toe mounts, pinky toe mounts and heels. Press down into the feet, feel the legs working. Feel a lift from the inner feet, feel a lift from the outer knees and feel a lift from your pelvis. You'll feel the glutes engaging as you're pressing the feet down. So press the feet down, feel the glutes engaging. Feel the lower belly lifting up, finding some distance away from the pubic bone. And then bring your ribs in and lift up through the ribs. Pull your shoulders back, your shoulder blades down. Relax the muscles of your face and reach the back of the scalp up towards the sky. Who knew standing up could be that complicated? We'll start our practice with a three ohms. So we will do an articulate OM sound, targeting the part uh, at the center of the chest, what the big thumbs are touching. So press the palms together, press the knuckles together, press the fingers together, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, press feet onto the ground, reach the back of the scalp up towards the sky, and inhale for OM, three OMs. Inhale. OM. Target the center of the chest. Oh. Keep pressing feet down, relax the face, inhale. still stand with the vibrations Shanti peace bring your arms by your sides pull the shoulders back your shoulder blades down come to the front of your mat feet together or hip distance apart so if the feet are together we're going for the traditional variation but bear in mind that traditionally Yoga was for Indian men and especially young men. So if you're not an Indian young man, then it's normal that your body is anatomically different. Feel free to open up the feet hip distance apart so that you feel more balanced and so that you have some more access to the pelvis. Press big toe mounts, pinky toe mounts and heels down onto the ground. Feel the pelvis lifting up the lower belly lifting up, the shoulders come back, shoulder blades down and reach the back of the scalp back and up towards the sky. Relax the muscles of the face. Sun salutation, Shivananda. So press the feet down, inhale the arms up, open up the chest and then exhale, bring your arms down. You can bend the knees, hands to the mat. Inhale the right foot back, right knee down, bring the hips forward. And then exhale, press the hands down to bring the knees back, chest and chin to the ground. Allow your hips to stay lifted. Inhale, come to a cobra pose, so slide forward, bring the elbows in, lift the chest. And exhale, press into the hands and come up to your downward facing dog. Feet are hip distance apart. Hands are shoulder distance apart and you're breathing here. Remember you can bend the knees and lift the sit bones up. So inhale into the lower belly, push into the arms, straighten the arms and exhale widen the shoulder blades. Relax the muscles of the face. 
One more deep inhale into the belly if you want to start straightening the legs, but keep reaching the sits bones up to the sky and exhale, maybe reach the heels further back to feel the stretch at the back of the legs as you keep pushing the arms onto the ground. Inhale the right foot forward, back into your low lunge, left knee down, open up the chest forward and exhale, come to the front of the mat, press the feet down and allow your body to fold over the legs, feel free to bend the knees. Press feet down and inhale, come up, reach up, gaze up, slightly bend back and then exhale, bring your arms by your sides. Beautiful, left side, press feet down and inhale the arms up, open up your heart, exhale, fold over the legs, keep pressing the balls of the feet down, feel the backs of the legs stretching. Inhale the left foot back, left knee down, bring your hips forward, open up the chest and then exhale, press the hands down, bring the knees to the ground, the chest and the chin to the ground, keep the elbows close to the body, inhale slide forward, press into all the knuckles, pick up the chest and then exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Remember you can always bend the knees here, keep pressing the hands down and keep uncurling the tailbone up, inhale into the lower belly, and exhale, press into the hands, really widen the shoulder blades again, relax your head. Inhale into the lower belly, but reach the lower belly away from the pubic bone, reach the pubic bone to the sky, and exhale, pull the lower belly in, pull the ribcage in, everything towards the hands. Inhale the left foot forward, right knee down, hips forward, bring the chest up, and exhale, come to the front of the mat, fold over the legs, Keep pressing the balls of the feet down, bend the knees if needed. Inhale, rise up, keep pressing down into the feet as you open up through the chest and exhale your arms by your sides. So that was the sun salutation. Press the feet down and inhale, bring the arms up, open up the chest again and exhale, bring your arms to the ground. Inhale the right foot back, the right knee down and uncurl the toes of the right foot. Move the hips forward and bring your hands on the left thigh. So we'll stay here for a second. Pull the shoulders back, pull the shoulder blades down. If this is already a lot, then just breathe here. If you want more, press the feet down strongly and move the hips forward. Suck the lower belly in and up, pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down. The more you push the hips forward, the more you'll feel the opening at the right hip flexor. If you want more, bring your chin in and round your back, head towards the knee. Take two deep breaths here. Breathe into the lower belly, but keep it away from the pubis. And exhale, pull the lower belly in, lift it up, pull the shoulder blades down. One more breath, keep pressing the feet down, keep the right glute active, inhale. And exhale, keep pressing the feet down, keep the left thigh active, keep the shoulder blades away from the head. Press the feet down and inhale slowly and with control, come up. So bring the left knee over the left heel, right hip over the right knee. So you might have to close the distance between the feet, you want two right angles here. Press down into the feet, pull the belly in and inhale the arms up. Reach up, gaze up. Exhale, twist towards the left. So place your right elbow on your right knee or outside the right thigh. Keep the legs pressing down, keep the belly in and open up through the chest. Ideally you want the hands at the center of the chest. Pull the shoulder blades down and breathe. Option to stay here. Option to tuck the right toes under and straighten the back leg. Whatever you do, keep pressing the feet down and keep the left thigh active. Keep pressing the feet down and keep the right glute active. Inhale, one more breath into the lower belly and open up the chest a bit more. Exhale, pull the shoulder blades down. Beautiful. Inhale, come out of the twist, right knee on the ground or right knee up and bring the arms up. Interlace the fingers, reach up through the fingertips, gaze up and exhale. Just bring the hands back, open up through the upper back for three breaths. Keep the arms straight, squeeze the elbows together, squeeze the wrists together, four, two. Keep pressing the feet down, keep the right hip active, right knee can be on the ground, four, one. 
Inhale, come up to center, beautiful. And exhale, bring your arms to the ground. Bring the back foot in a hair and straighten the legs. So you might have to bring your hands on the shin or even on the thigh to do that. That's perfectly fine. Straighten both legs and think of the pubis reaching back, the six bones reaching up. You might have to stay high up and breathe for three. Keep pressing the feet down, keep the right glute active, the left thigh active. Four, two. Keep thinking of the pubis moving back, the chest moving forward. Four, one. Bring your hands back to the ground and slowly come to knees, chest, chin again. So knees on the ground, chest on the ground, and chin on the ground. Inhales, come forward. Cobra, keep the elbows in, push the inner shoulder blades forward. And exhale, downward facing top. Amazing. Take three breaths in your downward facing dog. If you're tired, you can always bring the knees down and come to child's pose. Four, two, breathe into the lower belly. Four, one, back to downward facing dog. If you came out of it, send the sit bones up and then inhale the right foot forward. Bring the left knee down and curl the left, untuck the left toes and push the hips forward. So in this variation where the knee is down, it's fine if the right knee comes forward because the weight is distributed back. Bring your hands on the thighs and keep pushing the hips forward. If you want more, squeeze the left butt cheek forward and push a bit more. And if you want more, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, bring the chin in and bring the head towards the hands. Four, three. Keep pressing feet down, keep the legs active. Four, two. Keep the lower belly away from the pubis, reaching up. Four, one. Press the feet down and inhale and curl up. Come up and bring the hips back. So now you want the right hip knee over the heel, especially if you're going to bring the back knee up. It's important that the knee doesn't come too much forward because it will be a lot of strain on the knee. Keep the glutes active, pull the lower belly in and inhale the arms up. Reach up, make sure you have two right angles with the knees and exhale, twist towards the right. Same variation that you did before. So if you choose to, tuck the back toes under and straighten the back leg. If you choose to stay with the knee down, four, three. If the back knee is up, straighten the back leg. Left back cheek is squeezing, four, two. Keep pressing the right foot down, keep the right thigh active and keep your belly strong. Open up through the chest, hands at the center of the chest eventually, four, one. Inhale, come back to center, bring the arms up. Remember, you can have the knee down. Interlace the fingers up, reach up and exhale, just the hands go back. Keep pressing the feet down, keep the front knee over the heel, four, three. Straighten the arms, really elevate the scapula. Squeeze the arm, arms together, squeeze the wrists together, four, two. Keep breathing deeply, four, one. Inhale back to center, bring your hands to the ground and bring the back foot in a hair. Press the left heel down and straighten the legs. Again, you might have to be all the way up to the thigh, to the shin or hands on the ground. So keep uncurling the tailbone back and up, keep the belly reaching away from the pubic bone and exhale, reach the chest forward, four, three. Mm -hmm. Any variation, so you can be higher up. What's important is for the legs to be strong and straight, four, two. Keep the lower belly in, keep reaching forward through the chest, four, one. Hands on the ground and exhale, knees, chest, chin. So bring your knees on the ground, bring your chest and your chin down. Keep the elbows in, keep the armpits moving back towards the heels. Inhale, come forward, press the hands down, open up the chest and exhale, push away, downward facing dog. Three breaths in down dog. Remember you can come to child's pose. Four, two. And one. Dolphin pose. 
So come down to your knees, come to all fours, and then bring the elbows in. Option to keep the knees on the ground. You will move the knees away and move the hips back to feel that the chest is pressing towards the knees. Option to tuck the toes under and bring the legs up. Chest again moves towards the feet. Four, three. Keep pressing inner hands and outer elbows down and inhaling to the shoulder blades. Open up the shoulder blades. Four, two. Keep the lower belly in and keep the six bones moving away from the head. Four, one. Beautiful. Bring your knees down. Bring your hands on the ground. Straighten the arms. Widen the shoulder blades. Tuck toes under and exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale your right foot forward in between the hands and open up the left foot so that the left foot is parallel to the short side of the mat. Warrior two, press into the feet and gracefully rise up. Maybe not so gracefully, but go for, we'll go with that intention. So press the feet down. Eventually, you want the front leg, the right thigh to be parallel to the mat. Until you get there, you can have the feet closer together and keep pressing the feet down. What's important is that the knee stays uh, at the same line as the foot. So don't allow the knee to splay to the side because again, it's a lot on the knee. Keep pressing the back foot down, activate the left glute, pull the belly in and reach up through the chest, pull the shoulders back and reach down through the shoulder blades. Gaze at the front fingertips or relax the head for three. Keep reaching the arms away. Open up the heart, the pericardium. Four, two. And one. Lateral stretch. So bring your right elbow on top of the right knee and bring the left arm overhead. Four, three. Pull the right shoulder blade down the back. Press the outer left foot down and reach away through the fingertips. Four, two. Relax the head and breathe deeply into the whole left side. Four, one. Keep the belly in and inhale, come back to center. Keep pressing the feet down. And exhale, keep the bend of the front knee as you come back to a peaceful warrior, a reverse warrior. Four, three. Your back hand can be higher up. Open up through the chest and reach away through the hand. Four, two. Keep pressing the hands down, keep the glutes active and lift up through the pubis, lift up through the sternum, four, one. Inhale, come back to center, trikonasana, triangle pose. Straighten the legs and bring the back foot in a hair. Keep the legs straight, press down into the feet, feel the glutes uh, lifting up, feel the ribs uh, lifting up, pull the shoulders back, pull the shoulder blades down. From here, keep the legs straight and exhale, bring the hand to the leg at any point. Maybe you stay higher up, four, three. Maybe you go for the shin, maybe you go for the big toe. Four, two, keep the arms straight. Whatever you do, pull the shoulder blades down, relax the head. Four, one, inhale, press feet down and come back to center. Bend the front knee and exhale, windmill the arms down. Press the hands on the ground and slowly come back to knees, chest, chin. Inhale, slide forward, keep the shoulder blades down the back, pull the ribs in and up, and exhale, push into the arms, come back to a downward facing dog. Inhale, the left foot forward, keep pressing into the hands, and come back to your warrior two position. Warrior two on the other side, so press into the feet, Feel the right glute, the back glute working. Feel the front thigh working. Make sure that the knee is not on the side. It's at the same line as the foot. If, you're, if it's too much, don't bend as much. Eventually, you want to go for 90 degrees. Four, three. Keep reaching away through the arms. Open up your heart. Pull the shoulder blades down. Reach up through the back of the head. Four, two. Gaze at the fingertips or relax the head. Four, one. Inhale here, keep pressing the feet down, keep the belly strong, and exhale, elbow to knee, side angle. Four, three. Again, maybe your side angle is closer in, that's fine. Four, two. Keep pressing the right outer foot down to inhale through the whole right side in a straight line. Exhale, reach away through the fingertips. Four, one. Inhale, come up. 
come back to center and exhale, keep the bend of the front knee and come to your variation of peaceful warrior. Four, three, hand on the shin or higher up. Four, two, keep the front knee bent, keep the glutes active and keep the belly strong, belly button reaching away from the pubis. Four, one, beautiful, come back to center, straighten the legs. If you're not already with the legs close together, bring the legs a bit closer together. Ideally, they're one leg apart, so what's the distance of your leg? That's the distance between one foot to the other. Inhale, pick up the chest, and exhale, find your variation of a triangle. Triangle, so straight lines. Pull the shoulder blades down, reach away through the arms. Four, three. Four, two. Keep pressing the feet down, keep the legs active, keep the core active. Four, one. Press into the feet, and inhale, come up gracefully. Exhale, bend the front knee, windmill the arms down, knees, chest, chin. So press into the hands to bring the knees down and then bring the hands, the chest, the chin to the ground. Inhale, slide forward, shoulders back, shoulder blades down and exhale, come back. Child's pose or downward facing dog. Four, three. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw. Four, two. And one. Beautiful. Inhale, come forward into your downward facing dog if you're not already there. Bend the knees, gaze forward, and then walk or hop to the front of the mat. One way or another, find yourself at the front. Exhale, fold over the legs and grab the big toes. Open up the feet, hip distance apart, and exhale, fold over the legs. Four, three. Keep all the weight forward. If you need to, bend the knees. We're trying to lengthen the lower back. Four, two. If catching the feet is impossible, just keep the arms higher up. Four, one. One day it will happen. So inhale, pick up the chest, and then exhale, press into the feet, pull the belly in. Inhale, press into the feet to come up, reach the arms up, all the way up, lengthen up, and then exhale, hands to heart center in a prayer position. Tree pose, bring all your weight to your left foot and then pick up your right knee. Knee in and then open up the hip. Bring the foot alongside the leg. If it's too much to have it next to the thigh, have it next to the shin. If you have trouble with the balance, have the toes on the ground. Keep the hands at the center of the chest. Four, three. Four, two. Deepen your breath. Breathe into the lower belly. And one. Exhale. Pull lower belly in. Pick up the chest. Pick up the diaphragm. Inhale. Knee in. And relax the foot down. Pick up the left knee up. Bring the foot to the inside of the thigh. Or to the inside of the shin. Or toes touching the ground. Four, three. Any variation. Keep pressing the standing leg down, keep it straight. Four, two. Focus and breathe. Four, one. Slowly bring the knee back in and exhale, come down. Press feet into the ground and inhale, reach the arms up. Gaze up, exhale, fold down. Inhale, pick up the chest, lengthen. And then exhale, pick up the heels and bend the knees. Come to this position of a low squat. From here, we will sit back. So press into the feet, keep the knees together, bring your arms forward or use your hands to help and slowly come down. Straighten the legs, flex the feet, send the sit bones back. Pull the belly in, pick up the chest and exhale, fold forward. Hands on the shins or hands on the big toes. Inhale, pick up the chest a bit more, send your pubis back and exhale, unfold over the legs. Four, three. You can stay higher up. Again, think of the six bones reaching back, the tailbone and curling. Four, two. And one. Inhale, pick up the chest. And exhale, come out of the pose. 
bring the right knee in and open up the right leg foot to the inside of the leg send the sit bones back if you need to use your hands to sit in front of the sit bones pick up the chest twist so you're facing the foot and then exhale fold forward for three you can stay as high up as needed keep the foot flexed if you need to bend the knee bend the knee otherwise keep the thigh working for two and one inhale pick up the chest and then slowly use your hand to bring the knee in straighten the right leg and open up the left thigh so again foot to the inside at any point that that's available eventually you want it right in front of the pubis then you can use the hands to send the sit bones back or you can have that intention keep the foot flex inhale pick up the chest and exhale you can stay here or fold with that direction of moving towards the foot four three keep the leg straight if you can keep the foot flex and activate the thigh four two and you cannot find that and curl the tailbone then stay higher up and in future practices you can also place something under the pelvis so that you find that lift so place that cushion or that folded blanket for one inhale come up and use your hand to bring the knee in navasana let's start with the hands back to pick up the chest keep the chest up and use your hands to come forward bend the knees and slowly start shifting the weight back keep the hands to support you and lift the legs four three if it's available to you you can straighten the legs four two if you want to you can even bring the arms up four one slowly bring the knees in the heels in hands on the ground or hands forward inhale pick up the chest and then exhale extend again four three Again, knees can be bent, arms can be up. Four, two, choose where you want to be, but keep the chest lifted. Four, one, okay, knees in, feet down. So press into the feet. Maybe you need to use the hands or use some momentum and shift and come back up where we were before. From here, we'll come to um, a crow pose. So if you already know crow pose go for your variation otherwise open up the knees bring the hands down bend the elbows and bring the knees next to the upper arms start shifting the weight forward and lift the hips up so you want the knees to the outside of the triceps and gaze forward stay here round the back and breathe four three keep all the weight on the arms so keep shifting the weight forward four two eventually you'll be able to bring one foot up and maybe both forward but for now you just want to feel that the weight is on the hands come back bring the hips to the side and lie down on your belly locust pose straighten the legs back point the feet and press the tops of the feet on the ground arms down pull the belly inhale pick up the chest four three keep the shoulders up the shoulder blades in and pull the shoulder blades towards the sacrum four two Press the feet down strongly, press the pubis down strongly and lift the belly away from the pubis. Forward, exhale, come down. Bring the hands under the shoulders, elbows in, cobra pose. Feet together, press the tops of the feet down so strongly that the kneecaps come off the floor. Press the pubis down so strongly and pull the lower belly in, the belly button away from the ground. Pull the ribs in and lift the ribs forward and up. Inhale, pick up the chest, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and exhale, pull the shoulder blades in and push them forward. Four, three. Pick up the chin, find length at the back of the throat. Four, two. Keep pressing the feet down, keep the belly in, chest open. Four, one. Exhale and fold forward. So fold, fold, forward and press the hands down press the knees on the ground and come up to all fours come to the side and lie down on your back supine so twist bring your knees to your chest first press the belly in and the lower back on the ground 
Inhale, pick up the chest, bring the forehead towards the knees, and exhale, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale into the lower belly, press the lower back onto the ground, and then exhale, calm down. Bring the knees over the hips, keep the knees bent and flex the feet. Bring your arms by your sides in a T-shape. So you want to bring the knees to the right, but first you want to shift the hips to the left. So you bring the knees to the right, but you keep the hips at the same line as the head. Allow the knees to ground down for this variation, so maybe the shoulder comes up. Keep the belly in, lift the ribs up, and exhale, move the elbow to the ground to help you twist for three. Again, maybe you're high up. Keep the belly in, move the sit bones away, find length, four, two. Pull the shoulder blades down the back and open through the upper back, four, one. Lower belly in and with the strength of the belly, bring the knees back to the chest. Shift the hips so they go slightly to the right and then exhale, knees to the left. So you want to keep the hips at the same line as the head. Ground the knees down and then Open up through the upper back, four, three. Keep the arms straight. You can bend the right elbow if the elbow is not on the ground. Four, two, pull the shoulder blades down. Four, one, pull the belly in and bring the knees back to the chest. Hug your knees and bring your head up and rock from side to side. Beautiful. Come to the side and come to all fours. Rabbit pose. Pull the shoulder blades towards the sacrum and round your back. Bring your crown of the head on the ground. You can stay here and breathe. Keep rounding the back. Shoulder blades towards the sacrum. Pull the belly. If you want more, you can bend the back knees and maybe grab the feet. Four, three. Remember, you can stay with the hands next to the head so that they keep some weight. Or maybe you just straighten the arms back and just keep the weight on the head. Four, two. Four, one. If you want to stay here, you can stay for a bit more. Otherwise, bring your hands to the ground and roll onto the forehead. Inhale and exhale, roll onto the crown of the head. Inhale, forehead, massage your head. Exhale, crown of the head. Keep your upper back strong. Shoulder blades away from the neck. Inhale into the forehead. Exhale, crown. Press into the hands, push and come up. Come to lie down on your back. Happy baby pose. Bring your knees in, hug your knees. And then from here, Open up the knees, push the knees towards the ground, push the sit bones away from you. If you have that availability, you can flex the feet and grab shins or grab the feet. Otherwise, stay with grabbing the knees. Keep the knees coming towards the ground, lower back towards the ground, pull the shoulder blades down the back, chin in, four, three. Breathe into the lower belly, exhale, pull the abdomen back in, feel the diaphragm reaching to the chest, four, two. Inhale into the lower belly. And exhale, push lower back on the ground, feel the diaphragm coming to the chest, four, one. Bring the knees back to the chest, hack the knees, push the knees up towards the hands, the hands down towards the knees, lengthen your lower back. Pull the shoulder blades away from the head. Relax the muscles of the face. Inhale into the lower belly. Open the mouth and exhale through the mouth. Two more times. Inhale into the lower belly. Open the mouth, exhale through the mouth. Release your legs, extend your legs. Last time, inhale into the lower belly, lying down. And exhale, open up the mouth and let it go. Relax the muscles of the face. 
If lying face up is not comfortable, feel free to bend the knees. Keep the feet mat distance apart and bring the knees together for the next few moments. Just find a position that's completely relaxed. Find a body that's completely relaxed. Find a state of mind that's completely relaxed. Keep bringing your awareness to the diaphragm and with the natural inhale just watch the diaphragm expanding at the lower belly. With every natural exhale feel the diaphragm coming in and moving towards the heart. No matter what happens around you keep your awareness at the diaphragm expanding with every inhale. and coming in and towards your heart center with every exhale. Perhaps we should love ourselves so fiercely that when others see us, they know exactly how it should be done. Watch your diaphragm again, how it inflates with every inhale, how it deflates and it moves towards the heart with every exhale. Inhale deeply into the diaphragm, allow it to expand, to get wide and bright. It comes in and goes towards the heart center, that sacred space inside of you, with every exhale. Inhale deeply into the diaphragm, send it towards the pelvis. Exhale, empty the lungs. 
bring your awareness to the toes, to the fingertips, to the tip of the head. And slowly start moving your feet, start moving your hands, start moving your head, massaging the hands, the feet, the head. Allow the breath to direct, to coordinate the movement. Allow the breath to nourish the whole body as you stretch, as you move around. And feel free to extend the arms overhead to stretch all four limbs to find life again after corpse pose to find a rebirth a new beginning take the next minute to move in any way you need to move to bring the knees in to rock from side to side to twist to take your time and we'll meet in a seated position in one minute so make the most of this minute listening to what your body needs to do Yoga is the cessation, the, the break, the stopping of all of the stories, the fluctuations, the thoughts in our head, all of the filters that distort our reality. Yoga is any practice that calms us down so we can see things clearly, so we can see what makes us happy, what makes us healthy, and so that it makes it so clear for us that we have no option but to follow our calling, to follow our purpose. Every day, take some time to just be still, to watch what's happening inside your head, to watch what's happening outside your body, so that you take the right steps, one step at a time, to be happy and to be healthy, to build that life that you deserve just because it's your birth's right not because you need to do anything you deserve to be happy you deserve to be healthy and it's up to you to take one step at a time to be healthy to be happy take a moment to feel appreciation for your life to feel appreciation for everything in your life whether you've been labeling it as good or bad, it's there to teach you things and most of all to teach you to be a loving person. From that per place of love and appreciation, let's bring our hands to heart center. And let's finish this practice by saying Namaste. Namaste simply means Hi, hello. It's used very commonly in India. 
but within the setting of yoga, we translate it as I bow to you, I see you. I see that what's inside you is actually the same that's inside me. So from that place of realizing that what's inside me, that life, that light, that love is also inside you, we end our practice and as a, as a sign of appreciation, of respect to one another, we say Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for being here. Thank you for trying this. The thing with Instagram is that within an hour it stops. So I had to restart it um, during Shavasana. So maybe we lost some people, but hopefully everything is safe and I will upload everything um, tomorrow on YouTube. I wish you a beautiful Sunday, a beautiful experience with everything that's going on and if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, I'm here. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. You're welcome. All right. Bye, everyone.